Hey everyone, Joseph here. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I thought I would share my ideas with you about if you should act your true self, if you should choose to be yourself 100%. The reason for this video is it's actually a topic that has been uh, coming to mind recently and I feel as though it would be a good video to talk about to share with any of you listening and maybe some of you will have similar thoughts or experiences with what I have to share. In today's video about if you should be your true self, keep in mind that this is not guaranteed for everyone. My thinking is reflecting from my experiences and how I have learned or dealt with them. That being said, I would not say I am correct or true because many people may not share or have these experiences that I may bring up as examples and may have experienced something entirely different from what I will share. Please consider that for I could be wrong based on your, your experiences and what you have gone through. When it comes to being your true self, I believe that being your true self is also being someone who is not quote unquote fake. What I mean by fake is pretending to be someone who represents parts of themselves that are false, such as their character and interest. Examples can include pretending to know or lie about something because someone else knows and brings it to my attention and acting a certain way because I would feel that if I would act normally. Examples include pretending to know or lie about something because someone else knows and brings it to my attention and acting a certain way that I would normally not act in because I somehow think it will benefit me and the conversation. A lot of what has come to my mind about how to be true to myself is also the times I have been fake to myself and to others. When I was a child, a young kid, I was very bad about this. Um, I don't know how it would seem from the perspective of others, but I was definitely aware of uh, my lies and how fake I would act to someone, mostly because I was afraid that if we didn't have similar interests or so, they would probably think I was a loser and probably would throw me to the side. I think part of that too was being a child, I was also someone who loved receiving the attention. I would lie about the most stupid things, such as if someone had brought up a video game that um, I definitely had not known about or even played and asked me about it as if, have you played this game or do you know what I'm talking about? I would do fake things such as lie and pretend because I thought somehow it would benefit me. I thought I would somehow be seen as someone who was cooler in the eyes of the person asking. I have done and said a lot of stupid things that would represent myself as being someone who would act fake. And along with that is sometimes people will take notice regardless of age from my experience. Um, I can remember a few times from when I was a kid where someone would call me out essentially and tell me they wouldn't believe me. But of course, because I was aware that I had lied and I did lie and I would pretend to know something that I didn't, I did not know or pretend that I had done something that I had not done. I would be essentially one of those guys that would be like, no, I'm serious. I swear I have I have done this, I have done that. No, I know what you're talking about. When in reality, I did it. Mostly with examples that bring uh, interest of mine uh, to attention, such as video games, for example. What you see on the screen is some gameplay footage of Batman uh, Arkham City, one of the uh, Batman games in the Arkham franchise. If you have not played it, I highly recommend uh, checking it out. You can definitely find YouTube videos about the game, and um, if you're a Batman fan, I would definitely recommend. I think if you're someone who likes RPGs, and you like Batman, and you have fun being Batman, using gadgets and combat, 
I think this is a game franchise that will best suit you. But I bring up video games because video games are a big part of my life and when I make videos it's usually centered around video games whether they're the topic of the subject of the video or if it's gameplay that will be seen in the background. A couple examples to represent what I'm talking about is for example even though uh, what you're seeing is Batman Arkham City on the screen I have played uh, the Call of Duty games in the past. I used to be a big fan of the franchise, but I didn't start like a lot of people with the earlier games such as Mod Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, both which I believe the first one was in 07 and the second one was 09. The reason for that is not only did I not have the games at the time, but I didn't even have uh, Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. So when the game would be brought up to me or within like my friend group, whoever I was hanging out with, I would lie and pretend like, yeah, like I, I had played the games when they came out. I had uh, known what it is they were talking about when it probably wasn't until a few years later, like 2011, I think, when I finally got an Xbox 360 and I finally got those games. And even then, um, I didn't even have Xbox Live immediately when I had the console. So I could only play uh, the campaign for those games. But I would lie and be fake and pretend I, I knew what these kids would talk about. If they had asked me and brought up, hey, like, what do you know about the online multiplayer? What's your favorite gun to use? What are your favorite maps? Have you done this? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what this is? I would lie and say yes, 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 and agree with it. Or sometimes I would take uh, lies and what I had seen from videos on YouTube, for example, because I thought that if I not only had shared um, the same answer with these fo uh, with these kids, such as yeah, I know what you're talking about. I play these games, and not only do I think that they wouldn't look down on me in some sense. Of course, that's why I think of now how to word it when I look back at it, but more so I was afraid of if they would think I was a loser or would not take interest in me because as a kid, you kind of feel those things. You kind of think uh, things like that, or at least I did, and... I was worried about no one would like me if I did not share the same interests or experiences that these other individuals had. So I would be fake in that sense to uh, people, people that I would have considered friends at the time or people I knew and whether they were aware of it or not, it really was not an appropriate or fair thing to do. That being said, it kind of comes back around to the whole idea, um, well as adults we're pretty familiar with this, but it comes back around to being true to oneself where it's okay to not know something. And in my experience as an adult, uh, most of the time some people will bring topics up that you will not know or not know anything about, but if you express that you do not know something, in my experience, most people do not really care if you have had those experiences with whatever the topic it is being brought up, such as video games. If a, if an adult a co-worker of mine from work, for example, brings up, hey, um, have you played this game, such as, have you played Fallout like 4 or Fallout 76 or you know, whatever game, and even if I'm aware of the game, I know it exists, but I've never touched it, I will say, no, like, I, I've never played it, I might say, I know what it is that you're talking about, but I've just never touched it, at most, you might receive a response such as, oh, really, especially if it's someone who's really into or loves the game, such as, oh, seriously, you've never played it, but for the most part, even then, most adults don't really care. It's more so just like a good way to conversate and to sh not only share interests, but most people will accept the fact that like, yeah, it's okay if you haven't done something or you do not know something or you're just not aware of something's existence because through life, you know, we learn and we learn as we, we grow 
and uh, we continue to get older, but most people are willing to accept that it's okay if you don't know anything, and I feel as though you should uh, feel that way about yourself. If you are someone who is listening to this and you feel that way or you know you act that way right now in your life, I feel as though this also intertwines with honesty. If you cannot be honest with yourself, then I do believe that you shouldn't really expect yourself to be honest with the people around you or the people you interact with. Such as if I'm going to pretend that I like something, but in reality, I know that I really do not like whatever this product or item is, but if someone brings up this product or item that they like, then I'm most likely going to pretend to them as well that, oh yeah, I definitely like what it is that they are talking about, but in reality, if you know for yourself that you do not like it, you know that you're lying to yourself and this other person. For the most part, I do believe that you should present your true self most of the time, but I do believe that there are exceptions, quote unquote, or moments, if that's another way to word this, where you should not or hold yourself back in some sense. To generalize, if you are someone who would consider themselves generally a loud individual, you're very uh, animated, you're very outgoing, you're very talkative, you're very social, then it would probably not be best to present your true self in that manner, um, in the sense of if you are in a library with other people who are trying to accomplish whatever tasks uh, it is that they would like to finish in a quiet place, it'd probably be best to not show your true self in that sense, given the circumstance of the environment you're in. So in short terms, if you are someone who is very loud when you speak, or you're very loud in how you act, it's probably not best to act that way of your true self in a place like a library where it's expected to be a very quiet place for everyone who is there. I feel as though another good point to bring up about uh, restricting your true self, if you were to, would be my experience where in the past, when I was a young kid, I was someone who was very uh, outgoing. I was very talkative. I was uh, very loud. And because of that, a lot of times uh, I would end up annoying people. I would try too hard to be funny or try too hard um, to be noticed. And from my experience, what I have learned over the years is that I can be and I am someone who had to learn in social settings and my, uh, my surroundings that I had to watch out for the people around me and how I would affect them based off my uh, attitude and character. If I was annoying someone or if someone had had enough of how I was acting or what I was doing, then I could take notice that, okay, well, I have to restrict that part of myself to be socially accepted and not looked down upon in whatever setting it is that I am in. Again, I am not saying that you should be someone who should restrict themselves from how you truly uh, represent yourself and how you act, but in my experience, I have noticed how when I've done that and if things have gone too far, um, there has been backlash and most of the time it does not end up looking well uh, for me. In conclusion, for the most part, I do believe that you should present your true self. And to do so, I think you, first of all, have to be honest with yourself. What it is you represent and how it is that you view and treat things. Or you will, for the most part, not only fool yourself, but you will sadly fool others in your attempt to be seen, such as be noticed, or being liked. And I say that because I do think I have gotten a lot better at becoming my true self, but I still have plenty of room for improvement. I used to be embarrassingly bad at it when I was a young kid because I worried too much about being liked, whereas now as an adult, I've grown much more as an individual. But that being said, don't let that fool you. Even now, I will catch myself still doing it 
when I know better than not to do it. We improve and we learn as we continue to grow. And I don't think the idea of this video is necessarily going to change someone's life or going to bring a drastic uh, measure of help. But I hope someone who's watching this video can share similar perspectives or viewpoints or even experiences with myself and others down in the comments below. This is not a guaranteed uh, thing for everyone. My thinking is just reflecting from experiences and how I have learned uh, from life and how I've dealt with those things. So what I've said may not work for you. That being said, comment down below, like I said, to uh, share uh, what you personally believe and your experiences. I would love to read those. I hope everyone is doing well and continues to do well. My name is Joseph. Thank you.